Commerce Root Planner has many functions. These instructions are intended to help you using the Root Planner. In this video I'm going to explain the Commod map, how to use it and how to root planning on the map. Hello, my name is Thomas, I'm your AutoTech instructor and an expert of auto navigation, fitness apps and fitness trackers. This video should bring you closer to the map of the Commod Root Planner. Since the Root Planner has become very extensive in the meantime, I will present it to you in small, easily digestible pieces. After the sidebar, now we learn everything about the map. These are our topics. Which maps are used in Komoot and which data do they provide? How to control the map? How do I plan a route directly on the map? In addition, I will give you tips on further explanations in my collection of Komoot instructions. You can easily find the Komoot route planner in your menu on the home page. It is the third sub item here in the top menu. The map in the Komoot route planner is the main element. It can be toggled in its view. For example, the, the default Komoot map is displayed here. There is an option of switching to the open cycle map where a large number of cycle paths are displayed. Then there is the open street map, which is also the base of the Komoot map. And there is the Google street map that you will be familiar with when you use Google Maps from time to time. Also the satellite view. You will have noticed there are a few more maps. However, you will only get this if you have subscribed to Komoot Premium. The spot specific maps are then available here. Here to hike. Then you will see this dense network of hiking trails. The paths are then also marked in more detail. What you see here, the name of the path. Then there's also the bike map or cycling map where the bike paths are displayed. And there is the mountain bike map which then shows the MTB trails with difficult levels. You can see this here. You should definitely study the legend of the Komoot map in order to understand how you differentiate the passes. You can find the legend at the bottom right under the question mark here. Then click the first link below legend and you will see what a main road or a motorway looks like in the Komoot map or what are these narrow black lines. For cyclists it is interesting to know what these green lines mean. These are public bike paths for everything else. Just scroll here to understand how the Komoot map is structured and what all these colored lines mean. Speaking of lines there I want to show you something. If you have taken a closer look at the map you will have noticed that there are dark lines with numbers and then there are some thinner ones in between. These are contour lines that are otherwise also used in topographic maps. The thick lines always show a 100 meter difference in attitude. That means I have a 2200 meter line here and here a height of 2300 meter of height and the difference between these lines is 100 meters in height. In between there are the thinner lines that always shows a height difference of 20 meters. If these lines are very close together you have a particularly steep section there. 
You should keep this in mind when planning in order to be able to know the size of the selected map section. You have the ruler at the bottom left and then you can see that section has a length of 50 meters. If you zoom in again, the value changed to 20 meters. And if you zoom out, and this line will have a length of 300 meters. The scale should help you to better access the distance on the map. If you ever find an error on the map, you can use this button to report a problem to come out. How about you? Do you still take a paper map with you as a backup when touring? Or do you trust your GPS device completely? Just write it in the comments below. Now you know how to select a map and what data the map delivers. Now let's see how to use the map. Here at the top right is the so-called center button. This only makes sense if you have already planted a route. If you have selected a map section somewhere, you can simply click on the center button to center the map view at your planet route. Underneath there is a plus button. This is the zoom in button. If you click it, you zoom in. And there's also a zoom out button, the minus button. If you click on it, you will zoom out. You can also use your mouse to do this. If your mouse has a mouse wheel, turn the mouse wheel towards the screen to zoom in and turn away from the screen to zoom out. If the zoom jumps are very large, then this may be due to the system settings of your mouse. To move the map, simply press and hold the left mouse button. Then you can drag the map to the location you want to view. If this is out of the field of view, just let go the mouse button and push a little further. So you can always bring the map into the map area you want. If you don't want to use the mouse, you can use your keyboard. With the arrow key to the right, the map takes one step to the right. With the arrow key left to the left. Arrow down, move the map to the south and arrow up to the north. To jump to another location on the map, you can also use the search window at the top of the sidebar. If the section you are looking for is very far away, enter the location in the search window. We are in Europe and so I will look for California. Just click at the result and the window will jump to the search result. In the top right corner you see a link how to use the sidebar of the Commod Root Planner. If you don't see anything there, you can find the link in my video description. How do you use the map for route planning? For example, you can use a displayed search result on the map to plan. Let's look for the Brandenburg Gate. Let it be displayed. And now we can plan the route. You take the Brandenburg Gate as your starting point then click here. This only works if it is the first waypoint that you set. Then the option start here is offered. Otherwise you can use it as destination. If there are already further waypoints then I also have the option to add your search result to the tour. You can also use the displayed highlights for planning. If no highlights are displayed on the map, click here in the search bar 
and you will have the highlights here. Just check it and then the highlights will display it dependent on the spot you have chosen here. Those red dots are highlights of other sports. You can also display places for planning. If you click into the search box, you can use parks and sites, and parking and so on for display and planning. You can also simply click on a place on the map with the left mouse button. Then the option to add a waypoint appears. You can take this as a new destination or simply add it to the tour. If you click here and then it will be include on the route or set as new endpoint. Where do you get your ideas for touring from? Do you plan intuitively? Do you get inspiration from other users? Maybe like me, documents in magazines or on TV give you the impetus to plan tours? I'm looking forward to your comment. You can change the course of your tour by adding further waypoints. You can also take a waypoint and move it elsewhere to change the course. Left click on the waypoint, hold the left mouse button and drag the waypoint to the desired location. You will see then a preview of the new route, then release the mouse button and the route will be replanted. This also works without a waypoint. Just move your cursor over the route. When this blue point appears there, press and hold the left mouse button and drag this point to the desired location and then release to replan the tour. You can, of course, also change the order of the waypoints here in the sidebar. You can also reverse the direction of the tour there. I explained all of this to you in the tutorial of the route planner sidebar. It can also happen that you cannot plan certain routes. For example, there is no chance in trying to include motorways in, plan in the planning. The fastest kind of transport that you can use for planning a commute is the bicycle. As bicycles and pedestrians are prohibited on motorways, you cannot use, use motorways for planning in commode. One-way streets cannot be planned in a blocked direction by bike. It can also happen that routes in military restricted areas are marked but cannot be used for planning. There are certainly other examples of routes that cannot be planned. There is another special case when planning the route on the map. This is what is known as off-grid planning. This topic does not belong in this basic course. I'll show you the off-grid planning in a separate video later. I would generally recommend to use waypoints sparingly. The more waypoints you set, the faster you can bring Komo to the limit. The performance becomes significantly worse if you plan a tour with hundreds of waypoints. Then if you want to change the map view, it will take a long time until the new view is resolved. It can even crash Komoot in the browser. Only set waypoints when you really need them. If you want more information about a certain place on your route, move the cursor over the route and you will see this blue point again. Just click on it once with the left mouse button and you will get more information on this point. You can find more information about the location or section in the sidebar, in the tour details or in the, in the elevation profile. We don't want to go into that today. 
You can hide the sidebar and elevation profile on the map to do this. You can use the menu on the left side of the screen. This will also work with keyboard commands. Press the H button to hide the sidebar and press it again to show the sidebar. Press the P K to hide the elevation profile and press the P K again to show it again. And you can also hold the M key at your keyboard to hide the track, but you have to press it to hide it. And do not forget to save your tour after planning. With these instructions, the control of the map and the route planning on the Komoot map should be easy to you. You can find more tips of using Komoot in my channel. If the video was helpful to you, please give me a thumbs up. I'm Thomas, your Autotech instructor, and I'm looking forward to the next time.